Under this place, guys, there is a big storage underground. Those towers, they are air towers for air circulation. And that is the entrance, the small one. And here is also the entrance. So now we shall go underground with you. Russians like to have storages underground. Some people have some storages under their houses in the basement. Some people buy separate storages. So the room is rather small. Usually people keep here vegetables such as potatoes, carrots, uh, cabbage. So usually they grow such vegetables on their duchess and they use the storages to keep vegetables during the cold period. Here it is rather cold, about maybe three or five degrees above zero but that temperature is very good for storage for vegetables also people have here some bottles with tomatoes with cucumbers salted for pickles how you call them To buy such a small storage it will be about 100,000 rubles about 1,000 American dollars or maybe 2,000 American dollars it depends upon the condition of this room so if it is in poor condition you pay less if it is in good condition it may be about 2,000 American dollars for such a room and when you buy it it is your property you have a special document so that means that this uh, storage this room belongs to you you are the owner um, in russian that is called privatizированный uh, so you may sell it and if uh, the city authorities want to ruin to demolish the storages they give you uh, the money if you are not the owner, you just rent it from the state, so in this case you can't sell it. And if the city authorities want to demolish the storage, they give you nothing. So there are two ways. So you rent it from the state. In this case you just you can use it when the state allows you to do this and uh, the second variant you buy it and you have the rights so you also pay taxes of course because it is your property but in this case if anything happens so you get some money back so all the owners pay taxes once a year for this property oh it is not very expensive but there is a small tax for this. We came here to take potatoes, cabbage. Very seldom we come here. No valuable things here. You may see the doors are wooden. Let me show it to you better. Not a very good light. 
In many storied buildings, usually people have such basements in their houses, in their buildings. But not everywhere, not every many storied building has such a storage. You may hear that is the circulation of air, ventilation, ventilation for better circulation of air. We are not alone here. Such storages are very typical for ordinary people, for middle class, for poor people. So, of course, <laughs> if people have a lot of money, they usually do not have such storages because they live in their own houses, big houses, and they have such storages in their houses. But that is for middle class, for uh, ordinary, for poor people. Hope this video was interesting for you. If you have any questions, of course, you're welcome to ask them in comments. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. See you soon in the next episode. Пока. So guys, we decided to change boots. Now Alex will be in my boots and he will show you the real class <laughs> of skiing. Let me have a look. Oh, very deep. Сколько тут метров пять, наверное, да, Леш? Что там шифер? Кто там живет? О, oh, baby, doesn't know what to do.